Relapse happens. If relapse becomes a part of your story, you need to know that it is okay. It sucks, but it happens. It actually shouldn't be a surprise that it happened. If you were an alcoholic or an addict, you were only doing what you would normally do. Use. Using a substance is what we do. I am not saying that you should relapse. All I mean is that it could happen. I am making this video to give you a few things to do if the relapse happens. Before I get into the five things you should do, I want to say thank you for watching. And if you want to hear more on the subject of recovery, I have a podcast on this channel. Subscribe to hear from people who are in recovery. I promise you will hear your story in theirs. You can get a different perspective from how they dealt with different situations while trying to remain sober. I must break away from this high. It's not real falsified. I can't stay too Just a disclaimer. This list of five things you need to do can be applied to any form of relapse. I have found that recovery can apply to drugs, alcohol, social media, sex, video games, and anything that you devote time to that has negative effects in your life. Number one, quit fast. You need to stop quickly because the addiction is progressive and you will find you started right where you left off with addiction. Tell someone to get accountability. We can't do this on our own. We need people in our lives that will help us out and help us get back to recovery. It can be a sponsor or family member. Who it is doesn't matter. They just need to be someone you can trust. Number three, go to a meeting. Pick anyone. Chances are you are this far in recovery you have been to a few. If you have it, there are apps and websites that can help. Number four, get engaged with recovery. Recovery for me is a lifestyle. It's present in every part of my life. It has to be. I like to say I'm sober with intent. Everything I do is about staying sober. It has to be for at least the first year. Number five, get reflective. Not to reminisce or guilt shame yourself, but to see what worked for you to stay sober. Doesn't matter if it was only hours of sobriety. You did something that worked. Do that. If it was days, you stay sober because you were attending meetings, then go to meetings. Do 90 meetings in 90 days. Meetings are at all times of the day and night. It's hard to be sober during your first months in recovery. Your emotions are everywhere and your moods are too. That is why you have to do sobriety intentionally. Whatever got you in recovery, remember not to be too hard on yourself. You have done the hard part already, and that is acknowledging you have lost control of your vice. Keep quitting no matter how long it takes or how many times. Know that you are worth it.